So this has 12 damage, propel it. Go away, Arlene. I have no knife skill, as you can tell. <laughs>Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days of Dab and Old Guy Gaming, and we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we have a hell of a fun time doing it. All right, uh, in this episode, we're going to uh, do the church, the Tier 4 uh, church. That's the main goal, uh, but I want to show you a couple things uh, first. If you haven't uh, been watching the Casual Construction uh, episodes, we uh, I, I completely redid the funnel for the Horde base, and it's much larger now. Maybe we'll stop by and take a look at that on the way down. And uh, I'm hoping that, you know, that that'll solve the problem we had with Horde Knight 56. So it's day 60 now, so we have three more days. I went um, around to all but uh, all the traders except for Trader Wreck, because he's just so far out to the west, uh, and checked their inventory. I got uh, these three schematics from them, but they didn't have any crucibles or really anything else uh, that we needed. So let's read these now. Um, I am also uh, level 73, so we could potentially start thinking about doing a respec um not we're not gonna do that in this episode but you know we probably have enough points to to where that would be worthwhile so that's coming up here pretty quick and and i already have the um uh the forget the lecture that we bought uh a, a few episodes ago for that so we're so we have that part of it um so that's uh coming up I, i'm planning on doing a, a heavy agility perception build so it'll be kind of a stealth sniping uh type of build um, I spent a lot of time off camera, probably a couple of hours maybe, with my new shiny impact driver and got all kinds of parts. So you, as you can see, we got tons of engines in here, we got tons of batteries. Um, I have almost, well, I have 869 mechanical parts. We have over a thousand electrical parts. That doesn't belong in there. A couple stacks of light bulbs. So yeah, as you can see, we've got a lot, a lot of good uh, uh, parts there. That should last us for quite some time. In addition to that, uh, we also, I, I got several stacks, actually, of radiators, and you can see that I've got al already almost 6,000 brass smelted into there, so let's get, we'll get the rest of those in there, and then uh, we'll start making more bullet casings. Uh, everything's still going full bore here, as usual. Uh, we're, we're trying to replenish our, um, our, our concrete, because we used a bunch of it when we uh, redid the base, um, so we're working on that, and let's um, uh, let's see, yeah, let's cut that in half. I, I like to try and keep these guys more or less even, and then we'll get that going. So yeah, we're working on getting our concrete replenished. At one point, I had you know it was probably somewhere right down to there, but we used so much of it you know with the base, but that's fine. You know, I mean, we got lots of XP, and that's what it's for. That is what it's for. And, um, so this guy's continuing to make steel. We now have a total of, um, 1,543 steel, um, made up. And, you know, at this point, we probably don't even need another crucible. I mean, if, if we come across one, we'll certainly take it, but it's not quite as critical now. Uh, I could upgrade the upper part of the horde base, uh, to all steel, too, and I might do that. Um, you know, that'll take a tremendous amount of resources, but we'll get lots of XP and it'll just make it that much stronger. But probably not going to do that yet. We'll, we'll just see how things go forward uh, uh, on day 63. If they go well and, you know, the funnel works, then I probably will upgrade it. But I don't want to spend all the blood, sweat, and tears and resources to upgrade it just to find out on day 63 it still doesn't work. Because then, we then we're going to go to plan C if that happens. Okay, so... I think that gets us updated. I harvested the garden not too long ago, so that's doing well. We got lots and lots of uh, food stocked up here because when we do the respec, I might not put those points back into uh, in the farming. Uh, so that's why you know I want to have a nice little stockpile of food. All of the recipes that we do know, we know from schematics, so we will still be able to make all of this stuff even you know after we uh, stop doing that. So um, let's see. Let's eat. Let's eat a. A hobo stew. That gives you so much food, even though it's gross. <laughs> um, and maybe we'll we'll also have a taco too. We'll dip it in our hobo stew. Um, I made quite a few yucca juices. I've been drinking some of them uh, from the snowballs that we brought back. So let's have a yucca juice. Yum yum. Yeah, we are uh, 
we are in Fat City when it comes to the uh, food. All right, I made some nine mils uh, armor piercing. So let's go ahead and change those out in our pistol here. And um, I'm going to take... Uh, let's take a couple stacks of normal back down to our SMG turrets and just make sure they're topped off. They seem to be working pretty good since I changed the angle. I, I haven't I have yet to have a zombie make it all the way up the stairs, you know, now that I've changed the angle on these guys. So um, th I think we're in pretty good shape with that. So let's just top that one off and we'll top this one off. See, that's the nice thing about the normal nine mil ammo because you know when you start getting into end game you just have piles and piles and piles of it and you know so now we have a use for it because i'm going to start using the you know the armor piercing in whatever nine mil weapons that we you know that we use currently the pistol uh, but i'll probably when we go to the stealth build i'll probably um either replace the pistol with an smg or add an smg to our arsenal because uh, we'll have the points in it at that point the points in it at that point see what i did there so I made a few more nades, but we need to get more uh, grenades going for Horde Knight. I've got a full stack here. Actually, you know what, though? I think I left a few down at the base, but nevertheless, I mean, you can't have too many grenades. So these guys are working on the full stacks of gunpowder. And so we have we have um, 12. We have 12,000. Yeah, basically 12,000 gunpowder there. And um, what I might do, too, is let's pop one of these now that we... the hell's going on out there did she she must have ran into our iron spikes I think okay I should probably check those I haven't checked them in a while and I'm sure there's some of them need some repair anyway um yeah let's let's go ahead and break that open and We'll just make another batch of nades now that we have all these mechanical parts. Um, so let's grab the mechanical... Oh, and the springs. That's the other thing, too, uh, that we need. And then we'll grab, you know, some iron. And let's just see how many nades we can make with that. 107. My goodness. Okay. Well, they come in stacks of 25, so let's make 50 and 50. Okay. Okay. That leaves us 162 springs. We still have plenty of um, mechanical parts, and it, that used uh, 400 iron ingots. Okay, I should probably have you. Yeah, you're, you're the one that, that currently doesn't have the crucible. Um, let's go ahead and have you make a full stack. And I want to top these guys off here. How are you doing on clay? Yeah. We're using the clay, too. One silver lining with having to, you know, redo the base, the horde base like I did, is I got a lot of clay, and I needed clay. I was getting really low. And uh, I was going to probably just go randomly dig somewhere, but it's always nice to get the clay while you're also accomplishing something else at the same time, you know, killing two stones with one bird. Killing two zombies... No, two shotguns with one zombie. Wait a minute, what? All right, I'll quit while I'm behind. Let's go ahead and sort that out. All right, I think we're ready to go do the church. And uh, day 61, tomorrow, which is going to be in just a little over half an hour in-game, uh, the traders will reset. So at that point, I'll do another uh, trader run too. But let's go ahead and do that church now. And we'll stop and just take a quick look at the horde base too for those of you guys uh, who didn't watch the uh, casual construction. Uh, so let's see, we're going to do the uh, church, and let's make that the active quest, and where is that? Okay, that's going to be in the desert, fine. Oh, by the way, I spent some time in the desert, I did most of my salvaging in the desert, and as you can see, I went as far north as I could. And so, basically the north and west portion of this map is all burn biome, it's a huge burn biome. And then of course we know from our last trip that the southwest is um, wasteland and then the southeast is snow so now we know where all the biomes are on the map okay let's go ahead and do this
We got a running horde coming up the hill. All right, so this is the the new and improved horde base funnel, and as you can see, it is uh, you know quite a bit larger <laughs> than the other one was. And so you know the theory is that. What is this, a cheerleader horde? Did we kill her? Yeah. Um, the theory is that, you know, I'm going to be standing right there-ish. But all the way down at the bottom, of course. And so, it, it to me, it doesn't make sense that the AI would stop right at the edge here and start digging down when I'm all the way over there. So I'm... I'm fairly confident this is going to work. Uh, but, of course, we won't know until 56 actually, you know, rolls around. So we'll just see how that goes. All right, guys, I will meet you over at the church. Okay, we are here at the church. Um, we're going to, uh, we're going to double loot it, of course. Uh, let me get a couple things out of the inventory that we don't need. Uh, we have eye candy, so... We'll take that the first, uh, when we get to the fat loose first time, and then also again the second time. So actually, let's take two. Okay, let's do a quick double loot. Heard someone walking around out here. Uh, we'll hit the books downstairs, and then we'll go up into the tower. Um, eye candy and take a look and see what we have so weapons bag first uh, okay uh, let's do this working stiff oh nice look at that that's nice too is that better than what we have it is not but we can sell it <coughs> for some serious cash fix it up and sell it there's another one look at that uh, is that one better than what we have sometimes the yellow ones are nope they're not Irritates the hell out of me. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Cool. <laughs> I've been looking for this second damn cru crucible forever. We just found it in the loot. Awesome. Okay. That means we don't really need to, be, um, you know, do the trader runs so much anymore now because there's not really a whole lot more that I need. Uh, oh, man. That was a nice find. Okay. Let's take a look in here. And, uh, all right. Decent stuff. Most of that's just going to be uh, sell selling stuff. Uh, what, what do we need to do? Okay, I want, I don't care about those. I think what I'm going to do, you guys, is, I mean, I can sell these, but we don't really need money now. So I'm just going to eat these for the XP to make the space Um, for this, this, and this. I don't care about the bolts. Um, when we start using our crossbow, we're going to use steel bolts anyways, not iron. Okay, nice. Yeah, that was worth the price of admission. Boy, oh boy, awesome. Yeah, crucibles are 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 quite rare, it seems, as are augers in Alpha 19. At least that's been my experience. Okay, let's start the quest for realsies. <clears throat> Tier 4 clear. Uh, okay, so at least we don't have to get a stupid satchel taking up room. We're pretty much just going to do the same thing. We're going to run out here, collapse the floor to get their attention, knock this down. I've, I've done this POI so many times, I could probably do it in my sleep. <laughs> Let's wait for them to come up here, and then we'll blast them. They like to go to that corner, don't they?
Alright, you know what? Let's just deal with these morons out here so we don't have to worry about them coming down and hitting us later. Man, that was a lot of Zeekers. close that door let's also we've got our we've got junkie there I'd like to kind of let's use some explosives too and maybe even some bullet tops let's start using more of those while we're just doing basic questing anything under here nope Okay, what's this? You can craft shotgun slugs, okay? Oh, that means we just finished the shotgun uh, series. Shotgun Messiah series. You can one-shot most wood blocks. Bulk craft all shotgun ammo. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. We'll probably end up just eating those two for the, to save the space. Just got that one. Okay, we know that guy too. You know, actually in the interest of time, I, th I don't think I'm going to do cabinets and basic stuff. Let's just do the good stuff. All right, what do we have? I uh, can craft robotic turret shells. Turn that robotic turret into a makeshift shotgun. Robotic turret shells. Okay, um, I haven't really done much with the robotic stuff in Alpha 19. Oh, there we go. Um, very nice, actually. We're still going to probably put points into it for the for the buffs that we get, though. Um, yeah, take that. Oh, those two things already. Pretty decent books, even though most of them we already know. <laughs> no books on this side. Okay. Not bad, actually. Hmm. I wonder how that how that would compare to what we'll be able to make once we put the points into it. No way to tell until we actually make it and then compare them, I guess. All right, let's go down here. Uh, we need to get ready for a fight. So I want to put my pipe bombs back down here. Yeah, here, let's just stir them up. Come on, people. <laughs> I, this thing will never fail to amuse me. <laughs> if they make it through, they get shotgun blasted. That's all there is to it. <laughs> I wonder how much damage this thing actually does if you're fully specced into it, which I'm not. You know, I don't have any points into it. Takes care of the first batch. We have somebody over here. Off with your leg. Okay, let's check the coffins. We should be able to find ammo in those. And we might we might have read the book that where we can find gems and coffins. I can't remember. I think that's a isn't that a wasteland book? Let's take a look. Book, let's take a look. Wasteland treasures. Harvest coffins for bones, jewelry, and precious gems. Um, okay, so I've harvested how many now? And I haven't found a single one of those things. <laughs> Come on, Gabe. 
Come on, man. What the hell? Ugh. Worthless. Absolutely worthless. Absolutely frickin' worthless. All right, we checked. Oh, no, we didn't check that one. <laughs> Can you believe that? Can you believe that, you guys? I'm not surprised. I am not surprised. I'm disappointed, but I'm not surprised. It's just bullshit. Nope, don't care about those. Those we will take. All right, we got a choke point through here, except for I didn't get this set down. There we go. more Zeekers. I guess that's it for that little ambush point, but there's going to be more here pretty soon. At least we got some ammo out of that one. Oh, man. What the hell? Let's look. Let's, did I just misread something? Harvest coffins for bones, jewelry, and precious gems. Checked. Yeah, right. Could have fucking fooled me, man. Let's put that there. Tss. Not... None of that stuff. How many how many coffins have we harvested so far? Little food thingy there. Oh shit. Barrel cop. It's a little little bit of an unnerving vision to have that guy right up in your face and seeing those yellow glowing eyes. I mean, he's bad enough <laughs> as he is without being feral. Uh, all right, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of that. We've got over a full stack of those. And uh, here again, I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to eat these. At this point, inventory space is more important. Okay. Nobody there. Yeah, you know what? Let's um let's pop one of these. Things are going to start getting a little more hairy now. So, what I want to do... his foot. We have one more live one. Come on, Marlene. Feral Marlene. Off with your leg. What? That sounds like a cop or a Hawaii 5 -O. I don't see any more active red dots on my compass, though. Okay, this place can be really dangerous coming through here. 
So what we're going to actually do... I want to get rid of this so they can't just come on over here. I just about bought the farm in this spot the last time I did the did this uh, POI. Okay, so we're going to make our own little walkway over there. Um, can they come down from up above too? I think they can now that I think about it. Ooh, look at all those red dots. Damn. Okay, so what we're going to do... I don't know if they can come down from up here. Here's what we're going to do. We're just going to have them... Drop down. Pretty sure they're gonna most of them come through that door. But if they do come through here, then they'll they'll just drop down to us down here. Alright. So now let's help them uh, get this door open here. set that up in there no just in case someone tries to draw a uh, jump over here all right see now they're trying to find a pathway to me come on zombos we don't have all day where'd y'all go Okay, we need to change this situation here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to give them a pathway to us, but we're going to put this right in that pathway. And then just get the shotgun ready. There we go. See, they're coming down from up above. Come get me, boyos. Oh, we got a double on Edgar. Awesome. That makes me feel good. Come on, Zabos. Come on, come on. They're working their way back over here, I think. Look at you, crawler. Oh, crawlers can get through the shotgun sledge. Look at that. Those bastards hit me in the leg. Hey, we got a glower. Let me rephrase that. We had a glower. Okay, I think that takes care of all of them and return to trader. Okay, nice. Yeah, we handled that a little bit better because, uh, like I said, that can be a nasty, nasty ambush point. You know, I wonder if, if we don't have buzzards upstairs... Because it says I've cleared the area. That would be unusual because usually there's some buzzards up there. Okay, well, we got a couple other places to loot in here before we go up to the tower. Let's get these guys harvested. Pretty disgusting to think that uh, I'm going to turn this into stew that I'm going to eat. But let's just not think about that. Let's just not think about that. Okay, we got a coffin here with shit in it. That is so broken. I'm just going to throw that out there. Oh, look. These are the old-style bookcases. Interesting. Okay. Um. Let's see. We got to go up here. Got a safe there. Okay, let's 
let's open this up. Oh, look at that, an auto shotgun. Wow, nice. That's some pretty good loot there, guys. I guess it was worth breaking 20 lockpicks to get into the damn thing. I'm going to have to replenish my stack of lockpicks here pretty soon. Uh, no, Very nice fight. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. It's not a very high level one, but still. So this has 12 damage per pellet. Go away, Arlene. I have no knife skill, as you can tell. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. Uh, anyway, so this does uh, 20 damage per pellet with the mods, but normally it does... So it does 17 without the mods, our blue pump. But rate of fire, especially if you put an automatic uh, trigger mechanism on this thing, this guy can be brutal. All right, well, we'll hang on to him for now. I mean, we can, can we make an auto shotgun? No, we can't. Okay. Yeah, we'll hang on to that for now. We might, we might actually use it. We'll see. Okay, nothing there. Here's a, sh a bookshelf. We know those. So let's just eat them. And then we'll head upstairs and hit the tower. And then we'll be done. I'm curious to know by now if the buzzards are actually still up here. You wouldn't think that they'd be up here, but... No, nope, they're not. Okay. Alright. This is always tricky for me. Um, is that attached to this? Let's do... Okay, we should be able to get on it that way. Okay, good. A little medical thingamadoodle here. Oh, that's pretty decent stuff. Alright, and then let's head on up to the thing. I guess we could get... Get there through here, right? Let's not take any chances. Ah, oh, shit! I forgot to, I forgot to do the eye candy. Duck, got it. Uh, all right. Well, we got a, a level one sniper, uh, but we do we did get two mines. Okay, or, or I mean see, magazines adds a small chance to find uh, mine rare gems for more. Okay, and craft exploding arrows and crossbow bolts. We might make use of that. All right, and that finishes the archery tree. So let's uh, let's take a look at that really quick. Man, I just. I said to myself, too, self, don't forget to take the thing before you open it, and I just, it was a knee-jerk reaction. Ah, okay, a bulk craft arrows and bolts. All right, but we get all this, and this is going to really come in handy when we do our um, our stealth build. Okay, let's, uh, let's pop open these other ones here real quick. I suppose it's, we still have a weapons bag there and a shotgun beside, so it's probably still worth it to take this. Plus, it'll give us a... A spot too. We need to free up some space. We're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna eat these. Um, that that could be worth a fair penny if we if we um, repair it and then put some mods on it. So we'll hang on to that. Um, what else? This we are gonna scrap, but it's not gonna gain us anything in in the way of space back. 35 gunpowder. I mean, we've got thousands of gunpowder. I would keep it if I if I could, but we need the space. Okay, so let's uh, get this, this, and that. And then let's see what's in here. All right, we'll take those. Shamway. 
Uh, we don't need the plastic. We'll take that. Should be power attacking these. I'm gonna leave that, and then finally the weapons bag. Okay, this we can put on something to sell it. Um, could put it on this millet. Well, I might actually keep this though. I'm not gonna sell it immediately. Okay, so that bumped the value of that up to 506. Let's just stop here really quick and see what this guy has uh, in his inventory. Make a couple of spots here. Okay, what you have in secret stash? Gyrocopter uh, accessories? Sure, why not? We might make one of those just for the hell of it. Let's see what we have. Gratitude. Right. Green compound bow, uh, worth a thousand ninety-one. A green shovel, worth the same exact amount of money, or some painkillers. Well, um, I'm not planning on using a bow for our stealth build. We're going to use our purple compound crossbow, but I think I'll take this anyway because it's kind of six one half does the other. And let's look, take a look at your inventory. See if we have anything at all we might be interested in. None of that stuff. Let's look at the normal inventory now. Get it. Okay, so let's take a look at his jobs. We want a job person. No, we've already done the clothing store well, twice. That's a shame. Have a safe journey. Do you think you can help me with a waterworks? Of course. No need to apologize. I'll check my I've got a job person. School done that well, twice, and we still have to do it again. Or no, we will have done it twice when we're done. And then, yeah, we just did that in the last uh, the last time we did it, too. Well, all right, you know what? I'm going to decline all of those, and we'll check another trader and see if there are any other Tier 4s that we can do that we haven't done already. Okay, guys, that is it for this episode. Uh, so I'm going to go back to the base, drop stuff off. Uh, in the next normal Let's Play episode, what I think we're going to do... Well, you know what? Let's just keep working on the Tier 4s. Uh, if I can find one, you know, that I haven't already done, just so we can finish out Tier 4. Because I want to I want to have our stealth build in place when we start Tier 5, because it just, it works out really well. So, yeah, we'll probably just keep working on the Tier 4s and get them knocked out. If I can't find Tier 4s that we, you know, that are new, then we're just going to speed run the ones that we've already done, just to get them knocked out. And honestly, the clothing store is going to be the fastest one that we can get through so maybe I'll just start taking clothing stores but I'll check the other traders first at least the ones that are nearby uh, to see if we can find a new one that we haven't yet done all right guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment share out the video and we'll see you in the next episode bye bye